Okay. Uh, so look at the question. So information are given. Uh, the friction, it's not a frictionless. There is friction, so the mu equals this, right? And then when you apply the force with the angle A, that's quite different from the question you have done in grade 11. Okay, so uh, first of all, your step one is always draw a free body diagram. Okay, the M, so you have MG, FG equals MG. Fn is the normal force. And then you apply the, the force Fa. Now you can draw here or you can draw here, but I pr would prefer to do this way. And there is angle 30 degree, right? 30 degree. And because the object is gonna move this way, so we are going to have a friction force FF here. Okay, now uh, in grade 11, you're going to see some uh, force acting at an angle. So the, always you need to do is resolve the force into direction, uh, x, y directions. Okay, for example, we resolve the, now that's the only force we need to do the res uh, resolving. Okay. So the FA is resolved into FAX, which equals FA cos 30 degree. And this one is the FAY, which equals FA sine 30 degree. Now after you resolve into this, so you just need to uh, apply Newton's second law. Okay, the first thing is we look at a y direction. If you look at a y direction, so you can see there's no motion at all, right? So the y direction, it should be balanced. Okay, so you can do this way. Fn is the only force going up, should equal the sum of the two forces going down, which is Fg plus the FAY, right? Balanced, that means net force equals zero and the force going up equals the force going down. And then for the X direction, there are two forces, FAX and FF. So obviously FAX must be bigger than FF, okay? Because it's pushing that way, FAX subtract FF equals MA. So net force acting on M in X direction equals the MA. Now also the A is also moving along X direction. Now I just said FA should be bigger than FF. But actually it's not always true. Right? What if the FAX is smaller than FF? In that case, you can't move it, okay? So this question, the numbers given, uh, the FAX is bigger than this. Okay, so in this case, the object is going to move, and we'll discuss other cases later. Uh, so here we can all plug in all the numbers, okay? So this one is going to be Fn equals Mg plus Fa uh, sine 30 degree. And then here, and also if you go know the Fn, the Ff is going to be the mu times Fn. So that means the Ff is going to be mu mg plus fa sine 30. Okay, so we needed ff for the second equation, right? And now since we already know ff, and then the equation going to be here. So fax is fa cos 30 degree. 
and subtract FF. So we plug in the FF into this equation. So we subtract mu mg plus the FA sine 30 degree equals the MA. Right? Okay, the question is asking for the A. So divide by M on both sides. So A should equal FA cos 30 degree minus mu mg plus FA sine 30 divided by m. Then you can plug in all the numbers and calculate, right? So the answer is 1.87 meter per second squared. Done.